OTM Trucking Fam, how y'all doing, man? Um, you know, I always come with positivity, but man, I don't know if you guys have been watching the news, seeing what's happening in Texas, man. If you if you guys seeing what happened, man, I can't bring positivity in this video, man, because it was a tragedy. You know what I mean? And um, I wrote a letter to the family and, and all the victims that's in this crash, you know what I mean? And let me start by saying this first. I know a lot of people are gonna say he just doing this because he wants this, he wants that out of it. No. If you know me and and and, and how I am, y'all can see my videos. I want everybody to eat and I want everybody everybody to be well, you know what I mean? And um I'm really doing this video from my heart to the victims, you know what I mean? I don't hope to gain anything from this. If anything, I just want the family to see this and know that they're not alone. You know what I mean? And I, I said this, I can't feel the way you guys feel because it's not necessarily my family, but I put the I put the situation as it was my family, you know what I mean? That's why I said I feel for you guys and that you're not alone. So uh, let me just go ahead and read this letter off to you, man. To the victim and the family, my deepest remorse goes to you guys i'm sorry that you're dealing with this as a trucker even as a regular person you know what i mean this is a tragedy and um for the ones that lost their life man i'm sorry i'm sorry that you you guys met your end is that the right way to say it? i hope that's the right way to say it but i'm sorry that you guys lost your life and i'm sorry that your family dealing with that but um i hope you guys in a better place and looking down on your family and getting them through this this hard time, you know what I mean? But because I know you guys are gonna be missed. And um, when I when I lost my dad, you know what I mean? I I, I to help me get through it. I thought he was looking down on me. So every time every time I got in a situation, I knew that he was looking down on me. You know what I mean? It's just a mind thought. So I hope you guys can deal. I hope you guys can have that and know that they still are there. They're just not there in the present. And uh, normally, normally, like I said, you know, I would bring positivity to you guys. But like I said earlier in this video, man, it, I don't see no positivity in this situation, man. It's, it's uh, you guys should go watch the video. You know what I mean? I um, I follow American Trucker. That's where I seen it at. And then uh, I went to their YouTube and I seen I seen the the accident because they had the link on it. You know what I mean? And that just that whole thing was just bad you know what i mean and um uh, i had a video that i was gonna post that i made i believe it was monday i believe it was monday that i made it and i was just waiting on the weekend to post it but then i seen this yesterday which was friday i seen it when i was getting off working with me and a couple drivers was talking about it we was talking about how, tra how, how tragic it was and uh how you should be more careful and i'm not i'm not i'm not seeing i'm not throwing any shots at anybody you know what i mean like i said this is a letter to the family letter to letter to the victim solely but i'm just saying what we was talking about you know what i mean we was talking about how how the truckers should be more careful you know cars should be more careful you know what i mean i'm they said it was black ice i don't know i'm not i'm not texas i'm, I'm in florida so i don't know what happened what went on i'm not up there but if it was black ice, I'm pretty sure they put a sign up or saying something about black ice. So I just feel I just feel like preventable measures if I'm I hope I'm saying that preventable measures should have been taken in place, you know what I mean? But I'm not getting into that because I don't want people to feel like I'm bashing this side, bashing that side. Like I said, this literally to the family. And um like I said, a lot of people will probably say I'm doing this for doing that. But if you know me, and I'm not speaking on the YouTube people, I'm speaking on the people that's personal to me. If you know me, you know what I stand on. I don't do anything for anything. If I do something, it's because it's out of my heart. If I do something for somebody, it's out the kindness of my heart. Like I'm making this video. This video is literally the kindness of my heart because I understand what they're going through. You know what I mean? If you had a loss in your family, if you had a loss in your friends, you know, you know, you know how it feels. You know what I mean? So... And um, I hope this video gets seen by the family. 
That's why I'm really doing this. Like I said, I want them to know that you're not alone. You know what I mean? People, people out here with you, and, and I understand. I can't feel the way you feel because that's your family and, and, and that's your friend. But like I said, I put it in the view of my family. You know what I mean? So I, I understand what you guys are going through. And um, I say that with the deep, deep, deep sorrow and humbleness. I mean to disrespect nobody whatsoever. And I, I don't mean to come as cross as being bashed or being an asshole, like I said, because I wasn't there. And um, I, I'm making this video just for the family. You know what I mean? And um, I guess the biggest thing I can say is I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you guys lost. I'm sorry that you guys got to deal with that. You know what I mean? And if you guys, if you guys haven't already, man, go look at the video, man, so you guys can see what I'm saying. If you see the video, man, it's it's crazy, man. It's it's so crazy. And, and I, I know you guys see me. I'm not in the truck. I'm not making. I'm not in make a truck video. Just because, like I said, I wanted people to understand where I'm coming from. You know what I mean? I'm really, I'm really. I'm really saddened about what happened, and um, it hit me hard, you know what I mean, because I drive trucks every day, and it's like, what if that was my family, or what if that was me, you know what I mean, like, it's just crazy, man, and to see people bashing other people in the time of tragedy man i think i think that's that's what hurt me the most just because it's like is it a bad is it a bad circumstance yes but it should bring people to people together you know what i mean like people should be more understanding and and, and not using this to be against anybody because at the end of the day how can you be mad at this person be mad at that person and they no, and they no, no longer here you know what I mean? And I'm sorry I'm jumbling up on my words. Just like I said, man, I'm, I'm passionate about this and, and it, it, it hurts. But how can you bash somebody when you should be bringing them together? You know what I mean? This accident will forever be known. You know what I mean? And, and I-35, I-35 won't forget you guys. The world won't forget you guys. That being said, man, so why not bring together? Why not come together, man? And uh to the ones, to the ones, cause I like I said in the video you can see a couple trucks that look like they didn't even try to stop. They didn't even try to press their brakes. I don't know what you guys was thinking. I don't know. Like I said, I was not there. But my thing is this, man. You got to be more vigilant. You got to be more and more aware of what's going on. Like I seen one truck with the FedEx truck. If you seen the guy videoing, you seen the car smoking, you seen that pal. This truck looked like it didn't even try to stop, man. And like I said, I'm not bashing anybody. I'm not bashing anybody at all. But be more vigilant, man. Be more, be more cautious, man. At the end of the day, everybody get on the highways trying to make it home, trying to make it back home safe to their family. And that should be your goal. You know what I mean? And like, I, some sometimes you can't avoid it. Sometimes you cannot. And I feel like this is the case of this accident. But I just want to say, I hope God be with them. God be with their family through the morning and the ones that that's hurt and badly injured i hope you guys make a full recovery because last i heard they were still finding people's people were still trapped so i hope those have a full recovery you know what i mean and, and they can get on with their lives and um the ones that's not here anymore like i stated earlier in this video i hope you guys in a better place and um i hope you guys finally find that paradise and man I just hope you guys be all right, man. And I'm speaking to the family. I hope you guys, I hope you guys be all right. And
I hope you guys can find some type of peace. I know that doesn't make sense this early, but I hope you guys can find some type of peace and and know that your family, the family that died, don't want you guys just to stop doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Because you guys still gotta live your life. And and like I said, I say that with the deep, the deep, deep sorrow and humbleness. You know what I mean? I try, I try not. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. I, and and get bashed for anything. I'm, that's not what I'm trying to do, man. But I love you guys. Until next time, man. Keep them ties bouncing, man. I really didn't want to do this video, but I feel like I needed to, man. I love you guys. OTM family, man. Stay strong.